something brand new coming up. It's called Fonderific. I've never seen anything quite like it. Because if you've ever dealt with fondant, if you've ever thought, gosh, how do they do those cakes? How do they make them look so good? How do they work with fondant? It's difficult to work with. It dries out so fast. You almost have to be a professional to get it to work at home. Fonderific changes all of that. It's your choice of a five-piece fondant kit. Holiday price today at $21.95. $21.95, and you're going to have your choice between a couple of, of different selections. If you choose the all occasion, we have the all occasion available, which means you're going to get 32 ounces of your wedding white. It's buttercream fondant. And then you're going to get four different colors that you're going to be able to have so much fun with, okay? Or you can choose the Halloween. If you choose the Halloween number one, you will get 32 ounces of your buttercream fondant. And then you're going to get Halloween colors, the orange, the green, the yellow, and the black. And then, this is what Fonderific does that I've never seen anybody else do. They give you flavors, flavors in fondant. This is cinnamon bun right here. You will get 32 ounces of your cinnamon bun fondant. And then you will get, your, oh, I'm sorry, right down here. That's my all occasion. And then you will get the cinnamon bun, and then you will get the four Halloween colors, which is your black, your yellow, your green, and your orange. The lady who brought this to life, Lois, uh, Lois Jody, is joining Judy, us. Yes. Judy is nice joining us right you. now. I can't read my own writing. Where are my Joy Mangano readers when I need them? And Lois, you are co-owner and co-creator of the company that brings us Fonderific. It is a clever idea. And we're going to meet uh, James Roselle, who is a fabulous cake designer, and he's going to be showing us some fabulous ways to use our Fonderific. But just looking at this table, how much fun is this? Oh my gosh. Fondant. For all of you at home who don't know what fondant is, it is rollable cake icing. No longer is it just for the, begin the professional. It's now for the beginner, for everybody at home. It tastes great. We have 15 gourmet flavors and colors. It's, you can roll it, mold it, create with it. And look at all these beautiful things that James has helped us create today. Cookies, cupcakes, candy centers, cake pops. It is fabulous. We like to say, now you can have your cake and eat your fondant too because it tastes <laughs> fabulous. That's right, because what did you normally do? You peeled the fondant off because it tasted terrible. Your fondant actually tastes terrific and it's easy to work with. Be specific, as for fondorific, it's terrific. See? Absolutely. There you go. Look at the ghost. We're actually, if you go to, to Alice Corona and HSN on Facebook, and we're going to show you how to make our little ghosts. But why don't we flip over to James as well? Because we're also going to show you how to make that candy cane. But why don't we do it live right in front of you? Because James is over here. And it's so simple, so easy to work with fondant, which is, you know, it used to be an oxymoron, right? True, very right. true. So tell us how it works. I take it out of, of the container. Mm -hmm. Do I heat it up? What do, where do I start? Yes, you want to warm it up in the microwave, 10 seconds per pound. 10 seconds. Then you just work with it. You want to knead it, condition it is the term. Just get it to a consistency that works best for you. And I find that just rolling or working with small pieces of it at a time is easiest. So for the candy cane that you see right here, I've just rolled two separate noodles. Okay, and I'm just going to press those two noodles together. Okay. And then just kind of roll them. And okay. really all we're doing is we want to marbleize. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once I've done that together, I'm just going to roll that into itself, kind of like a snail. Okay, re-roll that again. And you can roll it to whatever size you like. I think this looks good. I'm going to pick it up, just kind of twist it twist to give it? it that candy cane effect. Oh, is that amazing? <laughs> so See, nice easy. And easy. That is crazy cute. And Anybody then, at home can do that. Any mother. And then just with a paring knife, cut the length that you want, and then just kind of fold it to get that little candy cane shape. And you have perfect little cake grating items that you can make with your children, uh, people you, in your classroom. And you have to touch it. You, yeah, home. please, play with it. You don't have to have anything special. You can have your own rolling pins, your own cookie cutters. Everything at home is perfect. You don't need to buy anything special to create these fabulous pieces. 
It's I a mean, very user friendly product. Yes. And it, it feels like um, like a dough that's not sticky. Exactly. Not yes. sticky at exactly. all. Exactly. Yes. It has great texture to it. But again, can you see how just how how easy this is to be able mm -hmm. just to work this into anything that you want to, whether you're using your hands, whether you're using um, a rolling pin, whatever you might need exactly. to do. Exactly. And mm -hmm. how long can I work with this before? Because typically that fondant. It gets hard that fast. Mm -hmm. That's the problem with other fondants. It will dry quickly. The air hits it, mm -hmm. and it dries quickly. But with this fondant, you can have a cup of coffee. You can take lunch. You can go run to the preschool, pick up your daughter, and come back and still work with your project and make your masterpiece. Other fondants, you can't do that. It's fabulous for the beginner, and that's what sets us apart. But it also, for the pastry chef like James, the professional, everybody can use Fondorific. This is the coolest stuff. Oh my gosh. And very little so much powdered fun. sugar. Hardly any powdered sugar or cornstarch on the surface. Mm -hmm. Whereas most fondants, you have to have a lot of stuff to work with. But this one, you don't. We're going to show you some of the things that, that you've created because yes. the ghost is so yeah. amazing. I was aren't, walking aren't down, the, down the hall yesterday and I stopped and I said, What is this? Because I didn't even know I was doing this. We find out our shows like a few hours ahead of time. <laughs> Look at this ghost. So can you show us how to make oh, the ghost? absolutely. And definitely. again, these are going to be on my Facebook page, Alice Caron on HSN on Facebook. Go like me and you will be able to do this. So you start with... So you basically start with the cupcake. Okay. Um, now what I've done is I've added another top uh, layer of cupcake to the, the actual base of the cupcake and then just cover it with a little bit of buttercream. Okay. And then you just need a small amount of white buttercream fondant. Okay, so that's the buttercream flavor. Yes. I have to try it a little bit. It tastes <laughs> fabulous. And that's what I'll mention about the cinnamon bun flavor. It's like the aroma, you know, fondant tastes bad in the past, but now you can actually open the container. It smells like your grandmother's cinnamon buns baking in the oven. And it has that taste too. It's absolutely fabulous. And that's the buttercream you're tasting this there. This is delicious. No longer is it just vanilla and chocolate. You can have buttercream flavor. It tastes like frosting that you would normally buy, except it just has a, a little bit um, a different texture to it in terms of it's a little stiffer. That's yes, all. but you can add food coloring. If you just want to start with the white, you can add any color of a gel or a paste or food coloring that you buy at your grocery store to the product and make it the color you want. So you're not limited to just with your white. And just look how smooth that rolls mm -hmm. out. It's nice right. and, and velvety. Again, it's not sticky at all because no. that's what makes it so easy to be able to use it. Yeah, so I'm going to cut just a freehand form round just with a pizza cutter. Okay, if you have round cutters, you can go ahead and use that as well. Could you just stamp it out if you wanted to? Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cutter, just round you can cutters. Use a jar at home, really. Or a plate or something. Okay. I can't believe I'm eating. I know, it's fabulous. <laughs> Tasty, is, isn't it? This is unheard of. <laughs> but see, and then you just kind of drape that fondant directly over your cupcake and just position it in oh, a fashion that Look how <laughs> looks easy. like a ghost. Any beginner, I can do it, you can do it, Alice. Anybody at home can make a cupcake. And think about all the things and the parties you can have. Mm -hmm. Kids can use it as a kid activity even. You could have a birthday party or a Halloween party and invite the kids. Give them a cupcake. They'll sit there and eat and make projects all day long. The fondant's delicious. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, even think stop about eating it. preschoolers, think about that. They can cut out their ABCs and then you can teach them how to um, learn their letters and just let them cut it out with the cookie cutter and say, when you can say, hey, you get to eat your fondant. Exactly. Unlike anything I've ever seen, you will love this. It is terrific. It is fondorific. And we have your top five ways that you may wish to use your fondorific. For example, you can make pedophores with it. Imagine yes. the most beautiful, most perfect, most I just stopped uh, by in a little pastry shop and picked up some pedophores that you can make yourself. How about candies? How about cupcakes? You saw the ghost cupcakes? Imagine all the different things you can do with them. Cookies as well. Decorate your cookies with it. And of course, wedding cakes. If you know somebody who's getting Absolutely. married, let me tell you what, you will make the most beautiful cake. You know, cakes like this, and I'm going to walk over here so we can show you some of the different ways that we have decorated it. Cakes like this in the stores, in the pastry shops are insanely, uh, not even crazy expensive. Right. They are insanely expensive. Right. Do it yourself. Did you see how easy it is to work with this 
funded. We'll go through again what you get, and I'm going to start yes, at the do right. Do yourself, mom, at home. Okay, so come with me now okay. because look at what you're getting here. 32 ounces of your buttercream fondant. And this is like the all-occasion kit where mm -hmm. you can make your kid's birthday cake or anything special with the colors. You've got pink, blue, chocolate, which takes and red. And then we have the um, one and two kits. One's with cinnamon bun and one's with white. Oh, I want to try that cinnamon bun. That I'm buying fabulous. all of it. <laughs> I'm buying one of each and I'm giving these to as next ideas. Oh, perfect. Grandma, this is the perfect way for you to, to really experience something fun with your kids. Yes. And look at all the gorgeous things you're going to be able to make from yes. that to... And the only place you can get a kit all together just like this, right here at HSN. Right here, the value is unheard of, $21.95. This is exclusive to us. These kids, guys, don't miss out on this. What a cool idea. Oh, so much James, fun. thank you so much. Thank I you call like me. two of those goats. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, adorable. So listen, we also... Have a web